Hey everyone, it's a very nice March day. It's like 61 degrees, a little bit chilly. We got the garage back opened up and uh, working on the next part of the airplane. I finished this tip last and it's all finished now and it all works proper. And so I'm on to this one now. I need to take off all of the, um, the Clecos and go in and finish these two pieces. The uh, one that attaches to here and uh, end plates onto the side there and then I need to go dimple die and countersink the rest of these pieces so they'll fit together then rivet them. So that'll be a, a bit of work but uh, I'm excited. Talk to you soon. So I separated the parts and I went ahead and painted these where they're going to mate with other metal surfaces and then I went ahead and I um, dimple dyed these last pieces over here. Now I need to take the last two pieces that are on the ground right there and then go ahead and um, uh, rivet them in permanently. And then I will continue. I started working on uh, dimple, not double dyeing, but countersinking the fiberglass tips, uh, or tip where the uh, holes will go. So I started working on this right here, but then um, part of the problem was I couldn't find my, my uh, uh, dimple dye, and then I ended up finding it, so I went back to work on dimple dyeing it. But I just continue to work on it. I went ahead and pulled all six rivets. That's how it looks. And now I'm going to continue uh, drilling in on the fiberglass with the countersink. Okay, I got the fiberglass uh, uh, countersunk. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop it in and verify it fits. I ended up not going as far with these because I can go ahead and while they're on the airplane, trim them down a little more to make sure that the flush heads fit in them properly. These are the thing I did a little bit too much in some areas, but at least we sandwiched between two pieces of aluminum, and it's really the shear strength you're looking for, not necessarily uh, structural strength in the holes. Got the top side finished, and now I'm about to flip it and finish the bottom side. And the tip's done. It's upside down, so it's on the opposite side right now. Uh, one thing that's interesting about building an airplane, no matter how accurate the parts that they give you and how accurate a cut you make. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this, but a very, very light dip in this area. It's more accentuated on this side. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a very light dip to it. Um, what I always do is this is the bottom side of the airplane because the hinge right here is on the top side. So if you flip it over, I consider that the A side, and this is the B side. Um, and the B side, I don't mind as much if there's a little dip on it. So I always work on the A side first. So if it slowly pushes metal one way or another, um, the, the dip or the bow, which inevitably will happen in any airplane you ever build or any project like this, uh, is always on the B side so no one has to see it. Uh, the top side, if I were to flip this over, I'm not going to, it's really heavy. Uh, but you would see that uh, across the entire way, um, all the seams and fits are perfect because I started on that side first and then kind of stretched the metal all around the other side. But either way, I'm really happy with how it's coming out. So the tips are finished now. I have to go back and finish the hinges for the elevator. Uh, I don't think I'm going to um, install the control horn into either of these just yet. I'm going to wait until I go to paint the airplane because it's so hard to get the hinges in and out. I'm just going to wait until the last minute to go ahead and put those uh, final piece on. It's literally just a few rivets um, and then cutting the hinges. But I can cut the hinges now and then figure out the uh, uh, the rest of it later. But um, So once I cut the hinge, hinge rods, sorry I should say it better, and uh, drill some very very small holes for uh, cotter pins to go into for the rod holding, then I'll be quote unquote done with the horizontal. So I'll work on it for the next video. Thanks for watching.